I remember, I remember when I lost my mind. I'll get him back. Business student, 24, reveals she faked a wedding to get revenge on her ex-boyfriend and even hired an actor to play the groom. Welcome to the Dumb Dumb News Channel. This channel is dedicated to reviewing and discussing news stories from around the world. Help me trigger the YouTube algorithm by pressing the thumbs up button, subscribing to my channel, leaving a comment, and sharing with someone you think would like this content. Sources will be linked in the description so you can read the full details yourself. Today I am covering two stories of people faking something as a means to an end, in other words, to reach some sort of goal. I want to discuss these stories because in my opinion they deal with the way the human mind works or in this case doesn't work. The first article states, business management student Sarah Villard, 24, from Frankfurt, Germany, split from her ex-boyfriend in 2019, but rather than wallowing in post-breakup blues, she decided to fake a wedding shoot in order to make her ex jealous. Just three months after their split, Sarah pulled out all the stops for an elaborate wedding day, even hiring an actor to pretend to be her groom. He found out through Instagram and texted me the next day and freaked out because he thought I was cheating on him while we were together, Sarah said. Sarah was left feeling satisfied that her elaborate plan had worked and promptly blocked and deleted him from her social media and her life. Many people were shocked to discover that Sarah had spent so much money on the fake wedding. She added, I think people think I'm crazy. But overall, I've had mostly good reactions and over 5,000 people following me. The video has been viewed more than 400,000 times and received nearly 4,000 comments so far. This level of dedication is either completely psychotic or absolutely genius, one TikTok user wrote. The second article reads, Lindsay Ebel said her daughter was terminally ill with nervous system failure. Fundraisers were held for the 11-year-old from Canton, Ohio and tickets donated. I have your back. The UCCC Pride has your back. We are thinking of you. Um, we are going to be praying for you and we know that you're strong and that you can handle anything thrown your way. So keep fighting. Hi Riley, you see my softball here. We just wanted to let you know that we're thinking of you and we're sending all of our love towards you right now. Um, we just want to let you know that we're all behind you. We love you, Riley. Riley was told by her mother that she was dying from an incurable disease. The child's father Jamie Abol, who divorced Lindsay in 2017, raised the alarm. On Friday he was granted custody of Riley amid an investigation into Lindsay. Child support services found no medical evidence that Riley was ill. Lindsay is being criminally investigated, said Major C.J. Stance, sheriff of Stark County. My thoughts on the first story are that spending your time and money on a fake wedding to get revenge on your ex tells everyone what kind of mental health you have. In my opinion, there are so many useful things you could have done instead not only for yourself, but for others. The first order of business would have been to seek out mental health after your breakup. As we can read, she is satisfied she accomplished her goal, and the fact that she got more followers and views makes her think that this was actually a good thing. In the second story the mother is being criminally investigated for what she has been doing. It is one thing to spend your own time and money to act out some crazy scheme you have in your head, but it is another level when you get others to be a part of your lie, including fundraising and donations. I'm not exactly sure of all the motives, but in my opinion, she was seeking attention and money. It is sad to see a mother say that her daughter only has a few months to live. I'm curious to know what she would have done or said a few months later to continue down the path of her story. Lies and faking only leads to more lying and faking. It traps you into a box you've created and only creates a prison that you wouldn't be able to escape until the truth is revealed. In both of these cases, I hope for the best outcomes for everyone involved. We should teach others coping skills and help people understand that there are consequences to our actions. The old adage, the truth will set you free, holds true. Those are my thoughts, what are yours? Leave them in the comments below. Please share this video for education and awareness. For the Dumb Dumb News Channel, I'm Dumb Dumb.